Okay, so now we're on to lesson two. The first thing in lesson two that I'm going to show you is the upload dialog box. Just type upload at your command prompt. So what this does is it allows you to load an Autolist program into your active drawing. Let's say you've already created your program, saved it on your hard drive. You'd basically just browse to it, click on it, and click load. Now if you close your drawing and reopen it, you'll have to reload that Autolist program. Same goes if you open a different drawing. If you want your Autolist program to automatically load every time you open a drawing, you have to add it to your startup suite. Your startup suite is just down here. You click on Contents, Add, Browse to the file, and just click Open. I already have it loaded, so I'm just going to click Cancel. So you might get a, a warning message come up saying you're trying to load a file from a location that isn't trusted. That's just AutoCAD looking out for us. For example, if you're loading it off a file folder on the internet or something. But if you're just loading it on your local hard drive or your office's network, it's usually pretty safe. But to stop that, that uh, warning from coming up, you'd go to Options, Files, Trusted Locations, And you'd simply add your wherever you store your list programs to this trusted locations list. And I have my I always have my own folder structure that I add my my list folder to. Okay, so in the second part of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a layer with Autolisp. So whenever you we're going to use that command function that we used in our. Uh, in the first lesson, but we're going to use a command. We're going to use the layer command, but we're going to put a dash in front of it. So dash layer. We're going to type m for make. Just type uh, layer one. You can name it anything you want. For this lesson, I'm going to name layers layer one, layer two, layer three, just for now. Type c for color. Let's um, use color 8. Type P for plot. Let's go to no plot. So we have to hit enter one more time to apply that to layer 1. And then hit enter one more time to get out of the command. So I'm going to show you what we just did basically it's uh, very similar to creating a macro I have some text here I'm just going to show you make it easier to show you what I just did so I, I typed dash layer then I hit enter then I typed M for make hit enter I typed the name of my layer layer 1 C for color 8 I hit enter an extra time. Well, maybe I'm just going to do that just to make it more easier to read. I typed P for plot, N for no plot. I hit enter, and then I hit enter one more time to exit the command. So this, we basically have to enter this. We'll go back to the Visual Lisp Editor. Hopefully I can copy, I can paste that in my file. Yeah, we can. So basically we have to enter this into the command function. If I want to hit enter in the command function, I just use two of these quotation marks. Remember, we had to hit enter twice to get out of the command. Okay, so this piece of code isn't actually part of my actual routine. 
I'll show you one neat thing. We can run this little snippet of code here, and I'll show you how. There's actually a couple ways. This visual list console, you can use this to test out code. I'm going to type it in here and hit enter. Now I'm going to change the name of the layer to layer 2. I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. I'm going to type I'm going to enter that auto list code into my uh, command prompt and hit enter. That's another way to test out your code. So I'm going to go to properties and see if those layers exist and sure enough they do. So it created both of these layers. So if you're wondering what I'm planning to do here, I want to run the mView command, but I want that command to switch to our viewport layer. So basically what we did in the first lesson is we made a custom command called VP that just runs the, the mView command. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to run that command and switch the layer to your viewport layer. So in other words, instead of being in a let's say you're in a certain layer and you use the the viewport command and then afterwards you have to change the layer to whatever your um to whatever your viewport layer is we'll be able to do that in just one step using autolisp so stay tuned for that in the next video